Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Dave Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. Today's date is Wednesday the 7th of February and the time is just coming up to 12pm midday UK time. And the chart of the, of the week this week is going to be Rio Tinto, the mining company. Uh, taking a look here at, at the chart on a weekly basis to begin with, we can see that Rio Tinto, along with other mining companies, uh, suffered heavily during the commodity route of 2015 and into early 2016. But since creating uh, the low here in early 2016, the stock has been in a classic upward trend where we saw a series of higher highs and higher lows. In fact, only last month, the stock traded at a level not seen since 2011. So I'll give you an indication of how bullish uh, the comeback has been on the, for the company Rio Tinto. I'll just flip over now to a daily chart so we can just get a better view of how, how much the, the stock rallied between, the early, between early December and the middle of January when it hit that level there not seen since 2011. So the solid upper push here, uh, for, um, which began in early December, which ran through until the middle of January. As the market was pushing higher here, we saw a steady increase on the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, in positive momentum. So the momentum was clearly with the buyers. Then we can see that the stock continues to push to a new multi-year high. In the meantime, we do see a bit of a decline in positive momentum. So the divergence between the two, the stock is hitting fresh multi-year highs, while divergence isn't hitting higher high, while the, while the MACD indicator is not hitting higher highs. In fact, it's actually declining. The divergence between the two was an early warning sign that the, the bulls and the buyers were running on a bit of steam. So we did see a bit of a pullback in the share price beginning in the middle of January. That was matched by a decline in positive momentum, and then even a swing into negative momentum. But negative momentum over the last few sessions, even though we have seen some severe sell-offs recently, negative momentum has sort of been kind of floored at, 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 at this level here. At the meantime, the share price, even though uh, caught up in the major sell-off in global equity markets in the last few days, even though it did trade below the 50-day moving average, it is now back above the 50-day moving average. So it's, it's possible that since Rio Tinto has been in a strong upper tr trend for the last couple of years, it's possible that the, the bounce, the, the move lower we saw yesterday and the bounce back today could be the beginning of the next upward leg in the in the move of Rio Tinto. So if the stock holds above the 50-day moving average, which comes into play in at this line here at 38.18, if we do manage to hold above that level, we could look to actually push higher from here and potential levels of resistance to the upside could be 40.40, which was the late January high. And if you take off 40.40, the next big level to keep an eye out for will be the 2018 high of 41.87. And if you go beyond 41.87, the next big level to watch out for will be 44.07, a level not seen since 2011. But if you do manage to fall back below the 50-day moving average at 38.18, we could and uh, should we fall below that, we could be looking at moving south again, uh, a continuation of the downward trend that we've in the short-term downward trend that we've seen since the middle of January. Now, uh, if we do manage to fall below the 50-day moving average, the first level to keep an eye out for will, of course, be the will be the February low of 37.43. And if we move south of that, the next level to keep an eye out for will be 37.07, the 100-day moving average. Because notice how the 100-day moving average on a few occasions in both November and also December acted as both some support and resistance on a number of occasions. If it do manage to fall below uh, 37.07, the 100-day moving average, the stock may drift down towards the 2 day moving average, which comes into play at 35.16. Notice how the stock, even on the lows of December, didn't quite get as low as the 200-day moving average. So from a maturity point of view, it's been a solid upward trend for the last couple of years, and the pullback we've seen in the last few sessions and, 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 the, subsequent and the subsequent bounce back today could be the beginning of the potential next leg up on Rio Tinto. From a, that's, that's looking at the stock from a charity point of view. It's also worth noting that Rio Tinto had, not, had, had full year figures out today. We saw a rise in profits, a decline in net debt, an increase in the share buy, buyback scheme, and the company even declared a record dividend uh, for the year. So from a fundamental point of view, the stock is, is looking quite positive as well. That's all from me this week. Thank you very much.